So you're ready to start forking out some serious money to start a penetration test career. Well, keep watching to find the most cost-effective and efficient way to do this. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. Now, if you're in a position where you're ready to start actually laying down some cash to advance your career, then you must be pretty serious about it. So I'm going to save you the whole rent that I did in my last video, but just reiterate two key points. Firstly, penetration testing is a career option that you would follow once you already have a good understanding of computers. This could be in sysadmin, this could be in networking or programming, so long as you have a solid foundation in some area. Secondly, Learning pen testing is a very practical exercise, so you're gonna to have to put in a lot of work and a lot of practice. But the path I'm going to show you in this video will take about six to 12 months, depending on how much free time and effort you're able to put into this. So without any more chatting, let's get into it. Number one, pen tester lab. Personally, I find the best place to start pen testing is by learning web application penetration testing. This will cover a lot of the basics of what you have to do, and it's one of the less intimidating ways about it. Pentester Lab starts out at a very novice level, almost of which a high schooler could solve some of these labs. But as you progress, they slowly increase in difficulty over time, and it will really build a lot of foundation knowledge. So you'll learn the basics of web security, and then you'll start learning some Unix and Linux commands and permissions, intercepting traffic and inspecting it, and more and more technical exercises as you go along. They also have labs for specific CVEs, which are basically common vulnerabilities. Pentester Lab offer a little bit of an explanation for their labs, followed by sometimes a video, and then the lab for you to solve on your own. Pentester Lab is a great starting point as you're only gonna to need to fork out 200 US dollars to get started. So this is a perfect time for you to put down a bit of money and test the waters to see if this is right for you. Number two, Hack the Box VIP. Hack the Box is great when you're transitioning away from web app penetration testing onto the more serious system network penetration testing. Hack the Box focuses on specific machines and each machine will have a specific path you need to take to be able to exploit. And this is where you'd have to do a lot of scanning and enumeration. Now where the VIP membership comes in is that it will give you two distinct benefits. First of which, you'll have less people on those machines, which means there's just a lot less disruption. The second point is that you will have access to retired machines. Now retired machines don't give you any points that track towards your progress, but you'll have access to other people's walkthroughs on how they solved these labs. Now, some people might disagree with this approach and that's fine. My personal opinion is if you're using these walkthroughs as you're solving the labs, then you can learn the process from somebody doing it along with you. Now, every machine is different, so the exploit path is gonna be different, but as long as you pick up the fundamental concepts and process, then that's what you need to learn. Three, eLearn Security Pen Test Professional. The Pentester Pro course is probably one of the best that anybody could recommend for starting a pen test career. This has built quite a solid reputation in the industry as being one of the most comprehensive and detailed courses out there. Now, while the certificate might not be as impressive as say the OSCP, you will still learn fundamental knowledge from the ground up. And that's what I really like about eLearn Security. They don't just teach you how to exploit, they'll teach you about all the underlying technologies first before then leading you to do the exploitation. By the time you finish this course and pass a grueling one week exam, you will have all the skills and knowledge required to land your first pen testing role. Now the downside about the PTP course is that it will set you back $1,600 for the full version, which is basically a must. But in my opinion, it's totally money well spent. Number four, the OSCP. I'm gonna keep this section quite brief as most people know what the OSCP is already. But for those who don't, the OSCP is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to penetration testing. And the certificate holds a lot of weight, especially when you're looking for jobs. 
Now the OSCP course is very practical and it will focus primarily on hacking machines from boot to root. There's about 60 machines which you do list within the course and there's also supplementary labs as well used to explain some concepts. They also provide a giant PDF and a few videos along with it. Now the OSCP isn't exactly as expensive as the PTP. It will start at 1300 US dollars, but maybe factor in at least one exam retake. Now my estimates of six to 12 months might be a little bit optimistic, but keep in mind that you'll only get out what you put in. So if you're able to put in nightly work, then you should be able to do this quite fine. So that pretty much covers all the resources that I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and just remember you only get out of this what you put in. So study hard, enumerate and try harder. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.